think it's pretty fair. Yeah. I don't think that's, you know, low or, or, or above or beyond, you know, their expectations. I think top six right now, and that might spark some outrage from me, United fans, but I think that that's kind of where they stack up right now. All right. United. FaZe Clan. Clayster going up against two guys he won a world championship with. Attach and replays. He uh, conveniently left Attach out of that <laughs> sentence during the video, which I found funny. Yeah. <laughs> But here we go, off the break. E United in first with Clayster watching over, his teammate in the hard point. And a nice read to get the kill on Zuma as well. FaZe Clan so far, hard point hasn't been their specialty this week. As they've, uh, they haven't had the best start to their land league so far. Well, I mean, you take a look at the two teams. Both these guys have got their victory over Splice, right? And both come down to a game five. Uh, I honestly am not sure what to think about FaZe's loss to Envy. I actually think we're going to find out in the next couple of weeks. I know this is bold, but I think Envy is going to be a top four team in this division. And I think the loss that they took to them to kick things off is going to be a whole lot less, uh, maybe less frustrating to FaZe fans. I, I think Envy is going to be coming around. That stuck him. That stuck him. There's a two beast from Zuma. He gets stuck and then runs right to his teammate. That's not <laughs> ideal. It will be three. Make it four kills for FaZe. A perfect hold on the scrap time. And now they'll be in, in control of the hard point, at least for the first couple seconds. You can see just how weird their setup is. They have players everywhere on the minimap. And Replays doesn't have any confidence to hop in the hard point right now because he knows E United are about to flood on over from this bell side. He'll control back to phase 43 to 4 right now as phase clan are dominating up the start of this map, Maven. They are. They are. What's been interesting about uh, you know United, some of the times it, it, it seems like for them to win a hard point, RCDs has to drop a thousand kills. Like they <laughs> haven't been the most consistent team there unless you know RCDs is completely going off. And what kind of performance are you going to get from him is going to be the question. But yeah, like you said, FaZe has been dominating here. Andy had the left side of the minimap covered. They're looking good for the next rotation as well. And you know, us as casters, we try to speak to all the pro players we can to hear insight about either their team or what they think of other teams. And I won't name the player, but you know, one, one player that I spoke to did mention that this United squad, you know, that they've got some internal issues that they've got to figure out. You know, not not a, as happy campers as, as they maybe look from the outside looking in. As uh, right now, they are struggling in this hard point up the breakdown by 70. Yeah. You're on your third hard point. And you have five points. It's not fun. Not the start you're looking for, but Arsene is at least doing a good job uh, contesting in the front here, so you can't pick up a, tie, a ton of time. And this is a game with so little points on the board, really, for United, if, assuming they may start to bring a little bit of a comeback. You've already got over a minute off of the game clock, so something maybe worth keeping your eyes on, especially if there's going to be a lot of contested time, but you saw Arsene is doing there. This is a, 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 a wash right now, Maven. 88 to 5. Four dead again on a United. They are getting smoked by FaZe. Every single player positive on FaZe Clan right now. This is the best they've looked in hard points so far this week. And, you know, it's the last match of the night. This is United's only match today. I mean, think back to the last match last night. It's getting late. It's like 10.30 at night. Well, that Luminosity EG game started very similar, right? It's like, it was like 140 to 10 or something to kick it off. So we've seen this before, certainly. The question is when and if will United turn it on? Well, Zuma's still trying to play this pinch. He's got help from Priest as well, who's had a solid game so far with the uh, FG42 in hand. Challenge from Priest and the kill, 109 to 13. Zuma still staying alive on this outside ruins lane. He's 15 and nine. He's attached eyes to another grenade in the hard point. Yeah, and Zuma's really impressive in their series against Splice as well. Pick it up right where you left off. That's another thing I know. You already got a series in today if you're FaZe Clan. A series maybe built a little bit of confidence getting your first W. Maybe seeing a little bit of that here, but E United's finally getting some kind of points on the board, but immediately coming in to disrupt is going to be Priest to Anna Tatch backing up one inside a cabin as well. But uh, yeah, that's, a, that's an easy hard point to nade clear. <laughs> you saw it for the what seems like the 10th time there. Watching this right now, things that stand out. One, the rotations just need to be better for E United in regards to getting the setup they want. Not giving up both the scrap time and the entry uh, kind of start to the hill. Even here's an example of a two players died in aid. Silly can't cross because there's an FG watching over. Zuma with another kill. A perfect setup now for FaZe. As again, rotations for E United so far on this map, Maven, have been abysmal. 
And uh, I think you just saw some of the frustrations for Brasini there. <laughs> he tags up. He's 9 and 18 right now. He tags up Priesta. Priesta crosses the tank and just rips his head off almost instantly. Brasini struggling to get anything going. The FG is shutting down any type of pressure he's trying to make with that sub. But now Clayster is inside the hard point, picking up time. Arsenis on the rotation will have replays on the opposite side of Ruins here. He's got a little bit of help coming in Silly as well. Do they realize replays already got position? Well, now you're going to know. RC's yeah. able to get away for a moment, but it's silly behind him that actually gets cut down. And now there's three phase players here. They've cleared it out once again. Phase in a key spot to rack up time. I think it's a mix of two things. It's it's e United playing the rotations poorly, and it's phase playing them exceptionally well. Giving up that scrap time, well, they better make damn sure that they get the starting time on this hard point. And that's exactly what will happen. You can see the kill feed still red. Still all four players on phase positive. They are continuing to outslay by more and more as they are still up by 100 seconds on this map. And I, uh, you know, you mentioned the talking to players about the various teams. I, I also won't name someone, but uh, different player probably. But I was talking to them about some of the teams through here, and uh, someone mentioned to me, he's like, I don't think you know, I don't really know how to play the game yet. Really? Especially referring to Hardpoint. Um, I mean, at least <laughs> I think you're kind of seeing that here right now. And I don't know how much stock to put in it, but at least the opinion of one professional player, uh, that they've got a lot They've got a lot to learn, a lot to improve. 20 kill difference now in favor of FaZe Clan. The number one reason why they have this lead at the moment, they're going to go for the scrap time and look again, Maven. They at least have a presence near this bunker side. It's going to be up to Priesta to watch this cross. You see Silly on your X-Wave playing from that first hard point. Zuma in middle map, they just continue to get the kills when they need them most. There it is again. Rotation now to phase. One more player here. One more player dead. This is a stomp. I have no other way to describe it. Yeah. It's going to be 257. Is how many times do you, does it seem like, you know, because of that early control that we see a pre-aimed FG42 on phase or a pre-aimed sub, where just United players kind of running into crosshairs, right? Like it yep. makes it so hard on yourself when you're never set up in an advantageous position. And since you started to bring that up, like there hasn't been one time where I thought, oh, e United set up nicely for this. 26, 27 kill difference between FaZe and e United. I'm going to say that this might be one of the worst maps I've seen from e United in Call of Duty World War II. It's got to be up there. I mean, this has been uh, as lopsided as they come. Look at Priesta with the AR. 27 and 13, a minute in the objective. Having one hell of a game here. Priesta, you know, a guy that came onto the scene with the, the fast gameplay. The sub is what you like, expect to be in his hands, but here with the secondary AR, I mean, <laughs> he's dominating, man. Absolutely dominating, but everybody's statistically looking pretty sharp right now from FaZe Clan. Oh, most certainly. When you're out slaying by 30 kills, it tends to happen. 214 to 66. This could be the final hill of the game. Is look at this pinch from replays. He can turn this corner. We get two free ones. There they are. Fighter pilot now coming in as well. We'll spot the players off the spawn. They'll know exactly what they have to watch. Two players, one shot. 214 to 67, still Azuma. Doing what he can to stay alive, Cabin, but unfortunately he's shot by, from behind. But still in the hard point during all of this. Priesta, Priesta just gunning. And he might have earned them an extra 10 or so seconds there by winning that gunfight. They still haven't cleared him out of here. He's tucked in a corner. Finally, Priest is going to get cleared out, but that play there buries the game even more. And now as you get to Cave, okay, this is one of the few times where we've seen E United have kind of an initial setup. What can they do with it? I know it's going to be too little too late regardless, but we at least see something, something good out of them to take out of this game. I like how you put that. We finally see some sort of setup. We're going into, what, our ninth hill of this map? Yeah, there may have been one more, <laughs> but like for the but most part, shows. This been... is the first time we've seen a setup from them, and we're nine hills in. Yeah, yeah. This is probably the most time they've gotten uncontested in the, uh, this whole map. Yeah, which is 10 seconds. Feel, feels that way. And now Priesta, he's been doing everything. He's contesting on the other side, and he finds the kill on the hard point. Like, what isn't this guy doing? Whether it's at range watching crosses or being aggressive with the FG42, he's gotten in. Zuma with three. 12 more points needed for FaZe, and it's likely going to end here in a matter of seconds, unless you get one final break from E United. One final chance now as Clayster surges forward. Pristini with two. And here's the thing, United have to contest for this hard point because, yeah, there, it, you know, if Zuma hops into it, they phase win off that hill. One more kill on middle map for Attach. Priest is at least on this side. Will United reach the 100 point club? I don't think they're going to win the map, obviously. Will they at least, you know, give themselves some sort of positive at the end of this game? It doesn't appear so. That's it. 250 to 89 in map one? 
Wow. Faze get the victory, and you can see him on that's, feet. That's what I wanted to see from replays Thank all you, day yesterday. Yeah, right? When he looked like yesterday, he was taking a nap. Now, Ooh. some energy there. They know how big this win is. And today, again, today is so, so big after losing the series to NB yesterday. You have two big matches against Splice and E United. You go 2-0 today, man. It is big. Big for FaZe. And you, you can see, they know it, man. Yeah. They know it. That's a huge start to this series. A momentum shift. A statement game one. Priesta just shreds throughout the entire map, and E United, rightfully so, don't look happy. That is, there is more energy in that shot of replays right there than the entire time in the in, in the whole series yesterday. Just the fact that he's sitting up. It's like, <laughs> did he get no sleep the night before or something? Know. I don't know. Yeah, he uh, he certainly just uh, didn't seem to have the vibes you'd want. That's what you want though from replays. When he has his confidence, when he knows. He can shoot with anybody in the game. He is a different player. It happened right there. He had the help of the secondary AR. That setup was brilliant. Zuma was having a field day there, getting aggressive. That's the FaZe Clan that got them in the top four placing at one of our global opens. And on the other end, if, uh, you know, think about this, you know, Clay goes off the team. Clay's looking for justification for the change. Doesn't get it there in game one. And then Priesta, the opposite, you know, the guy that took a lot of flack coming into this roster, the guy that had all the question marks, just goes in and just dumps, destroys E United in that one. That's got to feel good. And this is, I mean, I think he's full, filled with confidence. He knows how good he is. And like, he knew this last year, but like, still, he's got to feel good to be like, you know, everybody on Reddit, everyone on Twitter, that was all over me. Just shut up. Because <laughs> that was, uh, that was impressive, man. That was AR shot. Looked brilliant there. Not known for that in his gameplay, but hey, you know what? Versatile player, always good to have on the team. So it is FaZe striking first, 100-point clubbing. E United there. That felt worse than like 100-point club, didn't it? I, oh. I know I know, 100-point club is not good, but like, it just didn't. Well, yeah. I think it was because FaZe not only won on every single hard point, but like, they were just consistently outscored. It was like, if E United got any time, it was like eight seconds here on scrap, and then, you know, seven seconds here. There was never a time where they got 40, 50 seconds in a row. This is a team, you know, at least talking back to last year. Um, I know there's been some changes to the roster, but maybe back when it was gunless, especially a team that thrived off of playing that like scrappy hard point, hit every hard point late. Don't worry about rotating early. Like that's something they thrived on. And like, I'm not saying this is like a jetpacker type combo yet, but like that's not going to work here. Not, not the same way, at least. And you saw them get punished over and over and over again by just not being re rotated not having the proper position, and then also just not winning gunfights is going to yeah. help the other. You see attached there on your screen on the far right, he also was one of his biggest critics, self-critics yesterday after saying, hey, I didn't play well enough to go home, rest on up, hit the gym in the morning, get back at it tomorrow. He's done just that. Overall, better mindset for this entire phase plan team. And it showed at the start of that map, 250 to 89. And now it's time for USS Texas, where I don't even know where to begin to call this one. I'm just excited to be seeing it and not an R dead Forest s &D. Uh, yeah, uh, United's had some amazing wins and some devastating losses here. This is actually where they closed out the game five against Splice yesterday. I believe it was 6-1, 6-2. They handled business there for sure. But a lot of this is going to be dependent on, on Clay. And if you see RC's up with the snipe out as well, if they're able to hit their shots, the team's very scary. If they're not hitting those snipes, and Clay was on point. He was Mr. Map 5 last night. He dropped double digits for the victory. This isn't Map 5, though. Nope. Map 2. Is he going to have that same fire? Because at map two against Splice, Tommy had his way with him. Let's get it started, Clayster. You see the weapon of choice in his hand right here off the break. If you're just tuning in, FaZe Clan dominate the first respawn. Now it's time for SND. What bomb site did they choose off the break? Right now it looks like. I'm just trying to see where they can get a first blood out potentially. Smoke out. Cutting off a sight line here from Attach to watch over B to see if anyone's getting aggressive. A couple players look to be bottom ship from phase right now. Okay, sorry, on the back side of the ship. Sometimes I struggle with the mini map. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you're okay. Zuma peeking bottom. Sees nothing. Priest of the furthest pushed up. So far, this e United setup just kind of playing crosses, making sure they don't give up a free plant anywhere. 45 seconds halfway through the round. Up to phase to make the first move. Here we go. He's trying to get down. Who's looking over him? I believe it was attached. It attached your eyes. That means Presti uh, Priesta is going to have to get off that actual bomb so the plant doesn't get stuck. So that was a big play there from Pristini to disrupt. 20 seconds left now with shot from Clayster, but he'll at least be able to call it out to his teammates to get some help. 
and help will not come yet as Zuma gets one, making it a 3v3. Bomb's getting planted as well. Oh my god, you have a second there for the collect. And what did I say? What did I say? Like, if they're hitting, if he's hitting those shots, if he's hitting those shots, this round goes differently. But, like, if you miss the snipes, I mean, he had, he had, a, he had a relatively easy first shot on the guy crossing the opposite side of the ship. There, still, it's not the most difficult shot for a player like Clayster. Almost has a, almost has a collat line up for him, but he's got to hit those shots. I mean, as simple as that. Yeah, those were those were pretty easy to hit as well. Whiffed opportunity there for Clayster in two different scenarios to give his team the advantage in the round and phase. Even though they get first blooded, they're able to turn it around off the back of a two kill round from both Zuma and Replace. And that's one in which they were first blooded. Pristini did a great job making sure, I think it was attached that was looking over Priesta. They didn't allow them to get that plant, but then things just start to fall apart. But now offense for United. Smoke out. Silly waiting on the nades. They bait him out perfectly. Should be open for a plant now as Arceus is getting one that pushes through on that B side of the ship. Zuma still roaming bottom middle. Almost stuck Pristini, I believe. They will back him up. To the left side, some shots come in. You know, Zuma, he's itching to push this, but doesn't need to. Priesta gets it. Now Silly is the next man up. That's going to be bombed down top ship and Clay by himself, tagged up, and will shortly be dropped. By himself with Arth City's watching over the A push. Oh, Clayster just whiffing another shot. So close there. That one a little bit tougher than the others. They know bombs down in top window. And that's the crazy thing. They know Zuma's somewhere in this bottom ship, and that's got to be playing, playing with their heads. There you go, Clay. Able to connect. He's got RC's to work with. There it oh, is. Comes lower, though. It's going to be Zuma. Priesta on one side, Zuma on the other. Is that four in a row for Zuma? If he got that final kill. Yeah, I believe so. And I keep hearing base guys go, let's go, baby, let's go. Uh, it's just the, the entire mindset is just different today. I just think I think it's one of those things where after you lost, and I, I said this during their first series, after you lost yesterday, like today becomes so big. And I think it's one of those things. That, yeah, you just get hyped up. You know today is crucial. You come in and get a 2-0. Handle business. And they're looking strong right now. 2-0 edge. Five and one start here. It's actually, sorry, it's three kills in a row then for Zoom, I guess. Clayster hit his first knife in that last round. An aggressive defensive smoke. They did this last round, but they didn't push it out too far. I think they just pushed into the ship. This should be a first blood here any second. Do they check the close corner? Attach does, so he reads it like a book. This is a strategy United have used many times. They know they like to get in that close right corner. Brilliant stuff from Attach. He's always grinding, search and destroy, and it shows right there. Yeah, does he know a st does he wonder if a second is there is the question, because it is silly on the other side of that bomb site. Attach, see him for a second. RC's couldn't pull the trigger, but there's Clay connecting with another snipe. Him and RC is going to be so crucial here. They've got to hit their shots. There's the smoke. You got to do that the first time. Ooh. Oh! Clay through the smoke. The second shot connects. And he knows bombs down as well, so he just keeps firing at it. And more accurate when he doesn't see the guy. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Clay, all right, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I disrespected your first couple of shots because now he's heating up. But you see what a difference it is when he's able to connect. Yeah, and there, <laughs> he has easy shots early on that he misses, and then one's through a smoke, one as he's getting tagged. I, I think it's just one of those things. Sniper rifle is a weapon. Like, you just get into a groove a little bit. Yeah. You warm up. Like, you miss the first couple of shots, and you're like, all right, I'm feeling myself now. 100%. United on the board after that three-kill round from Clayster of the sniper at back A. All right. Our cities. Push it up towards A. He'll put out the smoke. The last time, Silly and him just baited out a couple of nades. Similar setup to what we saw in their first offensive round. This time, he just sticks it, though. Does he get picked up by a second nade? No, I believe only one comes in, so they don't actually double nade him off a bomb. It's more just to get information, but they can't finish the kill. Priest is stunned. They don't decide to follow up off of it. Attach with first blood. Pristini trying to hold the top window. Here come the nades. Does miss, and FaZe know that, but Priesta still with this FG just shreds him. It's just silly now. Oh, man, that could have been big because he got the bomb plant. He had a couple of kills in a row. If he would have found the last two, that would have been gigantic. Popped off and traded. Hopefully somebody got on it in time. The kill that really swung it open for me was Priesta onto Bristini in the top window. Priesta's FG just rips him in half.
And once that happens, even though he wasn't weak and didn't get hit by that nade, it gave Zuma the opportunity to just run right up those back stairs and pinch the site. Phase now up three to one. Still carrying the momentum to game from game one into, into the search and destroy, Maven. Just hurt. God, Priesta. <laughs> He's so good, man. Okay. Zuma, six and two here. Instantly gets into bottom, finds a kill there, and he is just going forward, getting one information he can, spots Clayster, tags him, probably going to push this, doesn't realize he crossed, and there's one more there. So Clay gets the kill, but really it's the help from his teammate, I think, that helps him live to see another day. A whiff shot on the Priesta there. Clayster's giving away his position. He'll have to fall back for the moment. How fun has this been, though, watching some of the new coming, like up and coming talent with like TJ Haley and how good Priest has been, man? It's like you're seeing the next generation of Todd Pros. He shoots him in the foot. Well, you know, maybe it's a warning shot. He shoots him in the foot. Turns out your gun still works when your foot's gone. Yep, no big deal. That's now uh, 35 seconds left in the round, and they know Silly's one shot in bottom ship. Remember, Priest has got four in a row now, so can we hop over to him? This is a plant, and this is for streaks. He's going to get shot in the back. How do they not see this? <laughs> oh, okay. Then why do you not see the second player there? But that's uh, that's big because again, streaks. If he gets that plant, that that's the best part of that round. If you're reunited, again, because of the changes. Oh, that's just some of the you know class setups. Infantry far. much more popular, and there the bayonet comes into play for the quick knife. Were those the last two remaining there? Or is there one more player? No, there was one more player. Okay, okay, okay. I'll yeah, say, it was definitely three. Definitely could have potentially killed both. I think the other guy was like in bottom middle ship or something. It should have probably been a one before. Priesta. First blood. Back and forth we go. Two down, bottom ship almost instantly. Placer spots one, not able to connect. It's attached on the other side of this. Former teammate. And that's bomb down. Both his former teammates alive. Another hit marker for Clay. He is just destroying legs, feet, anything below the waist. He's getting <laughs> just annihilated these last two rounds from Clay. Oh, man. Catch. Maybe, maybe not everything below the waist. Realizing he gets away with his life on that one. The jump basically saves him there. Clayster got to be frustrated. His last two snipes have both been hit markers. Five to one for FaZe on the verge of being up 2-0 going into CTF, which has been historically their best game mode. God, remember this is a team in the United that yesterday 6-1 splice here. So FaZe, man, they've, they've had some incredible search performances today. Krista trying to get this down quickly. And attached. This time he wins that gunfight. The opening round, he lost it. It slowed everything down. There he gets the win. Now it's going to be a 3v2 with Bomb planted. Zuma just snaps onto Arsides. Clayster looking to trade the kill, but can't trade it. FaZe up 2-0. And this has been a just a stomp. What, 250 to 89, 6 to 1 here. E United getting a handle. FaZe looking comfortable now. Smiles all around. The three-piece from Zuma in the final round. As right now. They are making E United look like an amateur team in the final match of the night. And I think Pristini's emotion kind of sums it up there. He's doing his best replays impression from yesterday on the main yeah, stage. Well, it's, it's tough, too. It's not like, I don't know. It's one thing, again, if you, you have a close match and there's like a, maybe small things in VOD you can go back and watch, right? And it's like, hey, this minor fix and we're good in this series. But like, what the hell do you look at right now if you're United? Like, it just hasn't. Yeah, nothing. Nothing has worked. There was a single hard point. Not no, one hard point out of that entire game one that you really look good. Um, the search there, you get one round victory. But even I think that was around the phase. Maybe could have won had a couple things gone differently. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I just don't know what the answer is after after getting spanked like this. It's just like, damn, it's got to be a shot to your confidence, I think. Yeah, no, most certainly. And this is one where we always see players tweet out after a series. GG's this losses. If you're United right now and this series were to end in another stomp, you're almost tweeting like, GG's phase. We had a pitiful showing. Sorry, fans. We'll be back tomorrow. It's not even, you know? it's not even a GG. If this is a 3-0, but my God. Phase in control. Phase up 2-0. And Clayster maybe looking for some revenge.
over some former teammates here has not found it yet. But this is a team, they've had a lot of reverse sweeps in their history. It's got to start now. It's got to start with a CTF. We'll be right back. The chemistry on phase, I mean, we, we all get along really well. When things go wrong, we all talk about it and we get better. There's not a lot of arguing. We all just like each other. And it really helps and goes a long way. You have me as the AR that kind of sits back behind everyone. And then you got three really young, talented players that all love to play really, really aggressive, which hurts us sometimes, but for the most part, it works out really well. Zuma's like the main sub. He's gonna be the aggressor on the team. He's the one that pushes out a lot of cuts. You have Attach, who's more of the slower sub. He gets a lot more hill time on average. And then you have Priesta, who's like kind of in the middle. He's like the flex player. He uses the second AR sometimes, but for the most part, he'd pull out the third sub when needed. Having somebody like Reput is always gonna be really good. He just helps us um, in game, out of game. He has really good leadership. Most importantly, he lets everybody play them. I know a lot of people can just be really hard on players and won't let them play to how they want to play. At the end of the day, we know how good we are. We know that we can beat the best of the best. It's just a matter of coming to the events and clutching up and, you know, playing at the top of our level. Replays, a leader for this team a world champion, and you just got to think, he is so, so important to this team, and a uh, big part of why they have a 2-0 advantage over E United right now. And I think the biggest point in game mode that he's important is actually the next one in CTF. 
I mean, he, he definitely has trained this team to be one of the best in the world in this game mode. They showed it after going perfect in it at the CWL Dallas Open. They fall off a little bit in New, or New Orleans, but they're back here again in the CWL Pro League to show off big time here. Yeah, uh, earlier today against Splice, they, they got smoked. real good. No, 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 they, oh, they smoked Splice in the CT. Yes, they looked very good. It was, NB, it was NB yesterday, they struggled. But today, I was like, okay, they're back. It was like 6-1, something like that. Uh, I believe London Knox, they were they were completely in Honestly, command. every series is blurring together. We've oh. casted seven series now. No. It's funny, when days. it's like uh, there are times we, we cast so much. Like, you don't realize, you know, depending on the eSport, you know, you'll, you'll, you might cast a couple matches a week where we're doing for a, a night really right now but i totally agree sometimes like i'll come in i can remember exactly what happened the day before and other times i'm like no nah! <laughs> i couldn't tell you a thing that happened in my first series i cast yeah. <laughs> thankfully we have our map breakdown here ethan our wonderful director brings us up just in the nick of time 250 to 89 for phase six to one in uss texas and now our den forest ctf coming up next will this be another 3-0 to close out the night it happened yesterday and they're on, we're on the verge of it happening again today. Ah, uh, I, 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 how does it not end here? What have, what have you seen from me United that you think it won't? And, and I know they had that crazy reverse sweep, never die mentality. We talk about it all the time with Clayster and you know, United all last year, but oh, we just haven't seen that many reverse sweeps in this game, man. It just doesn't seem to happen nearly as frequently. Replays. After two of his teammates die, he holds off the push through field, and that basically stops United in their tracks. They're worried about Attach hitting that outside Ruins lane. Little do they know, Attach is worried about them hitting the same lane, so he's been pre-aiming this whole time. Finally, now that he has a teammate, Ooh. he'll push forward. Nice shots from Pristini to kill a weekend replays, and Zuma. And now it's going to force FaZe to rotate back. Exactly. The clearing out replays there opens up an entire half of the map, and Pristini's just going straight forward. Replays not going to be ready for this at all. He's like, come on, guys. Come on, that's the guy that picked me off a of wood, and now he's killing me in my base. Pristini gets a touch, should be finished though, and there will be the return, but that's a, how frustrating is that as a sequence for replays? Yeah, right? <laughs> 15 seconds straight of just being dead because he gets killed right off spawn. Yeah, from the same guy. Yep. Uh, replays hitting this outside lane with the AR. We'll catch one off guard. The second player's there as well. Can't clean up the kill, but he does buy his team enough time to push down middle. Let's Zuma. Getting aggressive on the Pristini. He knows he's weak. There's the kill. Look at the spawn that I believe that's uh, Arsenis just got right outside that first turn point. They seem to work on getting uh, kind of an AR back into a position like he had replays throughout most of the early game. I mean, don't get me wrong, Attach can do damage here and be very aggressive, but a lot of times you need kind of an AR to work with from this side of the map because you'll run into that. You run into Clayster, who's pre -M Yeah, like that. Uh, you're just not going to kill him very frequently if you're pushing by yourself with a sub on this side of the map by yourself. Yeah. Maybe. Unless he hit unless he had a really nice grenade, a stun. But that wouldn't help there either because he's got armored on. That's I true. like the setup from Clayster. Armored, scoped. He knows he's not going to be sprinting around too much, being loud. He'd rather push up slowly and not be affected by any stuns, have pinpoint accuracy with scoped, two dead. Everyone's pushed out their lanes. This is the best chance so far for United to go for a pull. Big thing, though. If you're phase on this side, you're going to spawn deep, so you have another chance to pick up the kills. It looks like you're doing just that, as long as they can trade this. They push him out, they pick up Clayster, and there you go. And right now, phase are going 4-4-4. Four, four, four. That's all dead. Push forward. You can see replays just sprinting up the map with this AR. Fortunately, sprints a little bit too far, and Pristini is able to catch him there before he's able to get gun up. Yep, it's just a timing thing. Got to get a feel for it, but there you get caught sprinting and can't get into position to, to pre in that before the sub's in your face. All right. Now at least attached from this side, he's found an FG-42, so that gives him a little bit more of a chance to, to do some damage over here. Backs up Arsides. On the other side, Priest does find a kill. Nice shots, attach. And that's the difference between having this. <laughs> and he still has a sub in his pocket, but uh, at least able to clear the way a little bit. But... Um, we haven't really had much in the way of anything. I mean, there was, what, the one flag touch at the very beginning from Bristini? That was barely a flag touch. I mean, he got he took two steps. <clears throat> Think about, like, earlier today, or was it the final series last night, where we had just, you know, a million flags out and a million returns. This has very much not been that. Arden Forest is either, like, awesome, and it's like fast-paced and crazy, or it is just 
it's like a, a very long chess game. Yeah, and that's I think that just comes down to the discipline of teams sometimes, right? Like you never want to get in that three or four down situation. That that was attached dying. I think I think he was on a four streak before he dropped there. So one thing that could pick up the pace a little bit would be some streaks earned by someone, but no one uh, really in the vicinity right now. Silly though. Kind of getting behind enemy lines, able to win one. There's a second player here, not able to snap onto him. Defense still holds strong. Clayster, last guy here. I think that number eight replays, he's going to overextend, I believe. Get right set up inside a bunker. He's going to spawn them out, Bell. And he can pull this flag. Yeah, pull it, pull it. Spawns him out, Bell. Now he has a chance. His teammates are going to have to help him out, though. So Tatch is going to be hitting mid-map. Priesta oh. hitting ruins. If he went right away, he would have gotten the timing. Does he go? Does he go? Yes, he does now. Still got a chance. Still definitely got a chance. But look at Christine. Teammates dying everywhere, though. Teammates dying. Replays with one in middle. Zuma's there as well. Our city's now dead. Two versus two. Two versus one. Wow. This should be a stalemate with 18 seconds left. Zuma's we'll hunting. go to extra time. Zuma's hunting him. He's not going to get there in time. He's not going to get there. No, no, no. Uh, Zuma. Zuma. He needs more help. But they're in a great position to do this. But he does need more help. Zuma. With a third. Gets the help from attached. The dive. Zuma. What a play. And he gets on his feet after. Okay, no, he didn't. Sorry, no, I Oh, no, you, I heard him. I heard him I heard very, him very loud, though. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I heard him screaming at the top as long as I thought he was going to be on his feet. Let's think about how, how big that was. So not only does he cover replays right on the run, he gets those two kills mid-map, which allows replays to get safely into position, but then immediately hits Ruins. Yep. Comes up behind, gets two kills, tags up one, and then with Clayster in the back with a chance to make the kill, that dive behind the rock, that ice movement, that dive back to then go ahead and get the return. That was sick, man. That was a hell of a play from Zuma. Wild stuff, and look at how close he is to streaks now. Will he play for him here off the break? Replays. I think he only got one kill in the capture, so he should be at only 300 points if he could swap to him. No, he's at 450, so a little bit better than I thought. Two players threatening to earn streaks here for Face Clan. Priest to dead. Will Zuma go for a kill trade here? Not as of yet. Rotating back. There it is. He'll earn two streaks. Doesn't earn any more, and here comes an aggressive play from United. Zuma's feeling real good right now. <laughs> He's feeling real, real good. But this is pressure in. Zuma will be coming off spawn soon, so they've got to be able to streak. streak this. He's calling it right now. Top over to Zuma. Who's he go for? Going to try and drop it in cabin. No, he gets oh. Clayster in the back, so he does pick up Clayster. Priest is going to have to get there in time, but RC is going to be watching over him. It may actually be replays now. Long. The chance to make the play. They killed it. Oh, they got the capture in though. Is this a counter? Maybe you can counter behind. There's only two players there, though. No, no this is both streaks used, and you get the score in that. Okay. Perfect for United. That was bad from FaZe. You, you saw, uh, I believe it was Priesta, who was in middle map, trying to go trail the player in cabin. And at the time he takes to go trail the player in cabin, he leaves his teammate in a 1v1 gunfight in middle, who was up against, I believe it was uh, Arsides in the back of the map. Do you think that glide bomb, he should have gone for somebody other than Clayster? Or maybe try and drop it in the cabin through the roof and try to pick off the flag carry to slow it down for a moment? Here's the thing. I've been teaching players that, that glide bomb spot inside cabin. I don't know if, if Zuma knows about it. I've seen a couple of people miss it. Yeah. Today, too. I think today alone I saw two people kind of miss it. Silly trying to make a play. Pristini basically single-handedly keeping his team in this 18 and 11. Maybe a flag pull. Nope, Arsides gets the clean up as Pristini, his twin, got a bullet into a Tatch, helps him win that gunfight. And look at Clayster. Clayster, I hear him calling out everything. One's in bunker, waiting to kill replays. Glide bomb called on in. Will there be a follow-up from United? It doesn't appear so as of yet. They kill one in the back, but silly the lone man here. He will drop, so streaks for both sides, not amounting to a whole lot. But you still do have a fighter pilot. Pristini really is just shredding. Holy hell. He has more kills than Clayster and Arsides combined, who are the second and third highest on his team. It's been a tale of Pristini and Zuma, right? I think here's the other important thing, though, to keep in mind. They use the glide bomb, and it doesn't get anything. But now they at least know if they come off spawn, they, they should throw on Mountain. Like, look, Replace has Mountain on in case. Tries to buy time for his team. First player is going to rotate back. Zuma, no mountain to use. If Pristini comes off spawn, he just uses the streak, and this will be a capture. Yep, it comes so perfect. Doesn't get anything, but he's going to slow him down enough. It doesn't matter. Can he still get in? Should be able to watch the cross, and that bought just enough time 
to get close enough for the two players from FaZe hitting through ruins couldn't do anything. So a very effective streak despite the fact that it doesn't pick up any kills. FaZe pushing out every single lane so everyone gonna spawn to the far back for United. They need to get another wave of kills before they can go for a pull. Zuma with one, replays on the pinch. He's doing what United did to them earlier on. Last player back here is Silly. He's one shot, they know that. Prestini's dead, four down, and now comes the overextension from our cities. Zuma spawning is going to be the big thing here. Can Zuma pick up this kill when he wait. comes off spawn? And he spawns Bell because our cities gets into a position and bunker quickly enough that he's not able to spawn deep. They've got a pitch on him, though. This will be a capture. Should be able to turn him up here momentarily, and there it is. Two to two. No streaks earned from attached. Can we swap through almost every player and see what score streaks are available? I don't think there's anything. I don't think so either, but I wanted to double check with a minute left. Nothing for United. Attach the closest for FaZe. As I don't think Zuma has anything either. Nope. Okay. Who's in this position? Pristini pushing up for the flag. He'll get away with it into bunker. Uh, but look at number seven on the main map. That's going to be Priesta. <laughs> yeah. Good luck with gonna, that. It's going to be hard to get past that. And there's going to be the return. And our city's gave away his position too. Thankfully, he at least takes one with him before he'll probably get traded out. Silly now in cabin. Should have a free kill in the middle here. There you go. And he stays alive. Should be traded out momentarily. Hope he's got help. Pristini. Coming up big here. Pristini. He is 26 and 16. Nice nade from Priesta. At least stops that push for a moment. 15 seconds left. Looks like we're going to see overtime. Yeah, all signs pointing towards OT. Fades with the first couple kills. There's no one in a position to go for a pull. Overtime on Arden Forest. Death taxes and a longer than 10 minute CTF on Arden. Yeah, right. Those are the three staples of life. <laughs> they really are. I, I would say that Arden Forest goes to OT more than 50% of the time. JP, get on it. It feels that way. It certainly feels that way. Shot of the phase, guys. They want to close this out. They've been high energy. They know they just have had a United's numbers, number in this series completely dominating the first couple of games. Can they end it here is the question. Now phase back to the favorable side, but no streaks for either team to work with. Those kills traded Wait, back. Who's already? How did Zuma just get here? Zuma might be able to pull this flag if he wins this 1v1 versus Clayster. Uh oh. Oh. He's home. He's Wait, no, he's running it right towards him. Uh, yeah. yeah, what are you doing? Your teammate's blocking Bell. It's like you could tell he couldn't decide where to go. Just yeah. going back and forth, back and forth. And now look at Pristini. He's just waiting at the flag, looking to see what he can do. Will they check this corner? Do they know he's missing? It no, doesn't appear so. I think where Zuma spawned deep. I, 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 he he, he spawned so deep, he thinks he's safe. If there's one more kill, I think Pristini pulls his flag out. They've got to know something's up. You can see the arrow. It's attached, looking at his flag. Will they, they check it this time? Oh, my goodness. They keep spawning deep, though. I just don't think he's there. they have any idea he's this close to the flag. Now he'll grab it. Priesta may have a chance to react. He gets it. Wow. Gets the kill. Now, That's look, great. replays has a chance. Here Four dead. That's, that should be a score. He's going to get so far across the map. So far across the map. Does he have armored? He does not have armored. So if one of these players has a stun, they might be able to lob it over, lob it over Bunker and slow him down. I think he got too far. He got yeah. too far. And that's just the, that's the that's what's great about four down and then an immediate pull. He was halfway across the map as they're starting to spawn in, and there's the score for FaZe. So what is it, about a minute and 20 seconds? I couldn't really tell. We'll see after the uh, counter starts. Minute 23, okay. What can FaZe do? Still no streaks for replays. Yes, He's but one kill off. Exactly, he gets a kill here, and this game's probably over. Two dead already off the break. Now they've just got to watch their bell and ruin side, and they've got players in both positions. Replays has just got to get a kill here, and it secures the game. I mean, it's not necessary. Attach just actually died, and he's getting shot in the back. He's getting away with his life, though. He should just get back to a safe position and secure himself a kill. Oh, my God, that gunfight win from Arsenis, but he's the only one that gets the kill. And now with 50 seconds left. Zuma's just pushed all the way up. There, there could be a flagpole opportunity right now for Pristini. Zuma spots two. Pristini's in the back. Finishes one. There's a second there. He's getting pinched from both sides. Pristini continues the hot streak, but can't get away. Can't get away. Under 30 seconds left. Priesta doing his best, Pristini. This is the last chance. 
Our city's dead. Tries to push with a pistol. That's not going to work. 18 seconds left. Get that return. Get it back. <laughs> Get it back a little bit, right? Who's the closest now? Pristini again. 31 and 21 doing everything he can. He's dead. One final player in Clayster. Phase. Will 3 0 E United to close out the night. Major victory for FaZe Clan. And it's not just that victory. It's a splice one on top of that. A difficult day results in a 2-0 for FaZe. And that is everything you could ask for in week one. Considering wow. you dropped that first series, didn't you? <laughs> you see Replays and Clay talking a little bit about it there. Frustrations for E United, though not the way they wanted to end their day two here in Division B. Some sneaky moments from both squads there, but Pristini did all he could. My goodness, was he's going off on that map. Yeah, it's just, it's like,